All right, hello friends. Well, we're at Epcot tonight for Festival of the Holidays. Um, just stepped in, and it's already dark because it's winter. Um, falling away, and it is really cool to the point where people are wearing jackets and jeans. So, anyways, but uh, we'll go see some things, do some things, and we'll bring you along with us. All right, we just got Spaceship Earth. F fun ride as always. There was no line, so if that happens to be the case when you're walking in the park, it, it, it's always fun. It's a classic. So I think we're headed over to the land next, and uh, we will definitely be eating some food tonight. Just not sure when and where yet. All right, we just made it to the back of the park. There's the Epcot tree, which is so beautiful. Not sure if you can see it on the video, but they've got a bunch of blinking uh, lights up there too. Alright, so we got the uh, giant tostada from the Mexico Pavilion. Uh, it's got some chorizo, beans, a couple types of cheese, and a uh, tomatillo sauce of some kind. Right there. Okay, the tostada was delicious. Mm -hmm. um, it was eleven fifty, so it's on the expensive side for what you get, but it's really big. It's yeah, really it, good. it is. It is really big. It was really good. I, I would happily do it again. So, anyways, <laughs> we'll see what's next. Well, we found a table in the restaurant, and so we just sat down there real quick and ate it, and uh, it was really good. Um, a little bit of spice to it, but not yeah. much. It's mostly uh, just skewered chicken with some peanut butter sauce on it, but it is really good. All right, so we're walking through the Germany Pavilion right now. You know, he's decorate this one so well. start here at the Little Village, and this is right by the Germany Pavilion. Their chimney actually smokes. Let's so zoom in and see if you can see it. Yeah, it shows up a little bit. We'll train way back there. Over to Italy now. We just stepped in the America Pavilion. I've got some little gingerbread houses. Oh, that's neat. This is the building we're in right now. Yeah. It's got a little, I don't know if you can see it, but like over here, there's little silver Mickeys on it too. Oh, okay. The clock and the scroll board. That's so cool. Uh-huh. Statues, they have it on the mall. That's cool too. That's so cool. Uh-huh. Here we've got the American Christmas tree. Japan Pavilion, we have the sushi Christmas tree, and the holiday soba. Mm -hmm. um, they both look amazing. I think I had the soba last year. But uh, we'll dig in and let you know what we think. 
Well, the good news is the sushi tree was good. I mean, it was basically a California roll or Philly roll. Um, had good flavor. Loved the uh, little salmon roe on top. Uh, unfortunately, the soba just didn't have much flavor. The shrimp didn't really taste like shrimp. The broth was very standard. There was no depth to the broth. So I probably wouldn't get that again. In fact, no, I will probably never get that again. <laughs> And if I had that last year and it, and it was like that, then yeah, I would remember it, so. Unfortunately, that one's off the list. All right, so we're coming into the UK now. We got some decorations out. Got a really neat window display. With Christmas trees in it over there. All right, so from Yukon, we got their giant snickerdoodle and beef bourguignonese. I was really hoping they would have their filet, but they don't this time. Anyway, so we'll dig in and let you know what we think. All right, so we just finished up with the Yukon food. The uh, beef bourguignonese was amazing. Very, very strong flavors, very good. Um, it, it's like whatever Japan didn't have in their, in their soba, the Yukon collected it all. And the snickerdoodle was good. Um, that's the other thing is the beef bourguignonese I think was six fifty, and that was a good filling portion for that price. So value and flavor, it was really good. Uh huh. Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture oh, illuminate good. the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. For some, it's difficult to imagine the holidays without winter and snow, but one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. For centuries, farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao to make chocolate. In fact, cacao is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa, thanks to this tropical plant. Oh, this is cool. I don't remember doing this before. When you think of holidays, you might not think of fish, but seafood is an essential part of many festive meals. In parts of southern Italy, family and friends gather once a year to celebrate La Vigilia with a seven-course seafood dinner. Tilapia, bass, and shrimp, like the ones raised here using our sustainable water systems, make up just some of the dishes served during this grand meal. Today, in the United States, the tradition is known as the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Citrus, like the oranges grown here, are common in Florida, but in Northern Europe, where fresh fruit is rare in winter, they're much harder to find, making them an extra special stocking stuffer. During Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune. Bye. <laughs> They say it's better to give than to receive. And in this greenhouse, we're celebrating the holidays by giving back to the land using innovative farming techniques. By recycling water, we can give plants rich nutrients. By giving plants ladybugs, we're able to control pests and reduce the need for pesticides. And by growing ground plants vertically, 
we give them better protection from disease. Let us make you. Uh huh. <laughs> With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. This greenhouse alone grows a powerful 15 tons of produce each year. When we give more, we receive more, making the most of the land's green gifts. Many of the plants you see here help spice up the holidays. The bark of cinnamon trees, like the one growing beside you, is used to make cinnamon sticks. Do you like eggnog? You can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. Other spices, like ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the land's many gifts. All right, so we're here during the uh, pass holder preview. Now we're coming back. It looks like it's not quite as busy, and it's nighttime, so should be some really cool extra things to see. <laughs> Cold? No, no, not really. Oh, okay. So if you're really slow, you'll stay dry. If you're really fast, you will get wet. You ever hear if you're not careful you will get splashed and if you want to get wet you can time it just right that was fun it was really cool to see it in the dark okay well the music's starting up for the next show but uh we'll, we'll be quick thank you for coming along watching us do some stuff eat some food look at decorations and uh like, share, subscribe, and we'll see y'all again next time, friends. Bye. Good night.